Hey guys, today I want to talk about some predictions I have for the next ban list, which I think should be out by the end of this month or early June at latest. I will mainly be talking about cars that I think will be banned, limited, semi-limited, or no longer on the list, as well as cars that I think could come back but won't because, well, Konami logic, as well as certain cars that I think should be on the list in all fairness sake, but will probably evade the list once again. So without further ado, let's begin. For newly banned cards, I have two. The first is Independent Nightingale. This one is obvious because it enables FTKs that the player going second has no real response to. Also, since it's an extra deck monster, simply hitting it to one or two makes no difference. So I'd say just outright ban the card. Burn damage cards are usually degenerate anyways, and this card is no exception. The other card that I say deserves a ban would be Astrograph Sorcerer. The biggest problem with this card is that it enables combos that are difficult to deal with for the opponent. The fact that it's searchable only makes the combos more consistent and more broken. Also, I think Pendulums have had their time in the game, and it's time Konami pushed for Lynx to be the go-to mechanic. So I do believe that Asgraph Sorcerer will get banned. At Limited, we have Dragonic Diagram, Card of Demise, Trickstar Reincarnation, and Masterpiece The True Draco Slaying King. For Diagram and Masterpiece, I think both cards need to go to 1 because Masterpiece is one of those unbeatable boss monsters that has built in protection from almost anything, be it monster, spell, or trap. On top of that, it has a destruction effect that can be used on either player's turn to disrupt the opponent at almost no cost to the players using it. Essentially, if you set up a masterpiece going first, your opponent is pretty much stuck trying to play around it. Sure, they can try getting rid of masterpiece with a Dogoron or a Kumongus, but Kaijus are an inherent minus one anyway, not to mention if that's the only out to masterpiece going second, then that further shows how unfairly broken it is. Diagram needs to be limited because it searches for not only Masterpiece, but also all the uh, cards in the Archetype, and it also adds an additional layer of protection on your Masterpiece by preventing it from being destroyed by battle once per turn. In addition, a Diagram hit will also indirectly be a hit to Dinosaurs, as the True King variants all use Diagram and a few True King monsters. Also, limiting both Masterpiece and Diagram won't necessarily kill True, True Dracos as a deck, but it will substantially weaken it enough that it won't be problematic for the meta. Now, Card of Demise. Many people say it's fine at 3, but let me ask you this honest question. Do you honestly believe that Card of Demise is an inferior card to, say, Upstart Goblin, which is limited? Considering that cards like Upstart Goblin and One Day of Peace are both limited to one on the ban list, I think it's fair to say that Card of Demise needs to join them. Now the last card, Trickstar Reincarnation. So we all played against Trickstars before and experienced the burn FTK or the first turn hand lock. People may suggest banning Draw and Lockbird, but I really don't think Draw and Lockbird is a problem. In fact, Draw and Lockbird is hardly even a better card than Ash Blossom, and unless you're suggesting that Ash Blossom should get banned too, there's no reason to randomly ban Draw and Lockbird. So my suggestion is to limit Reincarnation to 1 to prevent the first turn hand locks or burn loops from being too consistent. Trickstars will still be playable, it just won't be an FTK deck. At semi-limited, I have Pantheism of the Monarchs, Ether the Heavenly Monarch, and Ash Blossom Joy of Spring. Pantheism has been limited for quite a while, and I think it's time the card came back to 2. Same with Ether. Monarchs haven't been relative to the, relevant to the meta for almost 2 years now, so I think these 2 cards could return. They've been mostly power creep by the Master of Rule 4 decks anyway. Now before you start raging and click the dislike button, Please just hear me out regarding Ash Blossom. I think it's hands down the best hand trap in the game right now. 
It is not like Maxi where the card should either be at 3 or outright ban, because Ash Blossom does not single-handedly win you games like Maxi. However, it does act like a mini one-turn floodgate because it can hit almost every relevant meta card and stops your opponent from playing the game essentially. There are many decks out there that are literally stunned the turn if they get hit by Ash Blossom, so I think it's only fair to semi-limit this card to give those decks a better chance. Also, Ash Blossom has already been seen as reprint, so it's entirely possible that it gets hit this format. At no longer limited, I have Atlantean Dragoons, Mathematician, and Windup Magician. Mermails are an okay deck right now, but they haven't been too relevant lately. Not to mention, Unlimiting Dragoons could be a way to promote the deck as a new Mermail Link monster is being released soon. Mathematician, I don't even know why it's still on there. All I see from Mathematician is that it's just another level 3 Armageddon Knight-like monster. And even then, Armageddon Knight is unlimited. As for Windup Magician, Windups recently got a new Link monster, so giving Windups back their third Magician could be a way to promote the deck. Now, I know I probably missed a few cards here and there. I know a lot of you out there will be asking me, Oh, what about Evenly Matched? What about Stratos? What about Terraforming? What about Fairy Tale Snow? And finally, what about Electromite? Don't worry, don't worry, I'll get to it. For Stratos, it's a card that I don't even understand why it's still on the ban list at all. I bet it could come back to 2 and heroes won't see much competitive play. However, Konami logic often makes no sense anyways, so the card will probably stay on there. Terraforming, in my opinion, is only as good as a card that it can search. I would much rather hit the problem field spell cards themselves than waste a spot on there for the cards that search for them. Fairy Tale Snow is a very good card, and the scary thing is it's not even a hard one to return. I probably would put this card to 1 because I find it really annoying, but I highly doubt Konami would hit it, as it's just an annoyingly good card, but not brokenly good card. As for Electromite, it just came out a few sets ago, it hasn't even seen a reprint yet, so I don't think it's gonna get hit just yet. There will probably be, probably be a reprint for more budget players, and then after a while the card will get hit. If it's still problematic, that is. <laughs> but not now. Finally, we have Evenly Matched. This card should never have been made in my opinion, and definitely deserves to be banned. Being able to give your opponent a board wipe just by skipping your own battle phase is never a fair thing to do. However, we all know that Evenly Matched has a confirmed reprint coming out later this year. I don't think Konami will want to ban a card just to give it a reprint a few months later. It doesn't make sense for them to do this from a business point of view. Hence, sadly, Evenly Matched will most likely remain at 3. So these are my thoughts on the possible upcoming Yu-Gi-Oh! ban list. What do you think? Did I leave out any cards? Feel free to leave your comments below and thanks again for watching as always.